Hello. Today we're going to be doing Chapter 13, Lesson 3, and this is the hands-on lesson to model area. We're going to look at um, different shapes to find the area of those shapes. A square with a side length of one unit is called a unit square. A unit square has one square unit of area and can be used to measure area. Area is the number of square units needed to cover a figure without overlapping. So in this case, we're thinking about carpet or wallpaper to um, cover a whole area, not, not perimeter. Perimeter is the fence. The area is the, the yard, the farm. So we're going to start by drawing it, okay? And in this, we're going to be using one centimeter grid paper, and you should have some, you'll be given some at school today. And you're going to find the area of the rectangle here after drawing it on your paper. So I'm going to take this, and it, it looks like it has four squares, so I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, and make an outline. And then I'm going to label the parts. This side is the length. Length equals four. There's four going across. And then the width, that's how high it is. That is just one. So I'll write that in my chart. And how many squares do we have? One, two, three, four. Four square units. Let's try another one. We would go down two and over four. So then my length is going to still be four, but my width has changed. It's now two squares deep. So length is still four, the width is two, and I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight square units. We're going to keep building, and we're still going with the width of four, but this time we're going three deep. So my width or length is going to remain four, but my width went up to three. Hmm. Okay, four, three, and what is my total number of units now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can count them all, but I also know how to multiply, and I'm seeing that if I had just multiplied these, I'm going to get the same answer for the area. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Oh, look, they changed it up on us this time. We're going over, over five. One, two, three, four, five, and three tall. Let's see if it's the same then. My length equals five. My width equals three. So I'm going to count how many square units we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I am starting to develop an idea of how these are determined, an easier way to determine instead of just counting all the squares. Are you seeing it? Okay, we recorded all of our information in there. We've counted the tiles. We figured out the area of these shapes. Good job. Now we're going to find a formula that can be used to find the area of a rectangle. Ooh, I think that's what we were kind of starting to develop in the last example. It says to find a uh, to measure the length and width of each of the objects listed in the table. So I went ahead and I measured my sticky notes, and I measured my crayon box, and I measured my book, fish in a tree. And so I have all those measurements already. I lined up 
my ruler on the centimeter side and I measured the length and this was about 13. I had to round some of these because they were um, they were closer to the next number. So this one was 13. That's my length. And my width was 20. Okay, um, you're going to go ahead and measure yours, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to write mine, mine in really quick because I had already measured. Okay? Okay, so I can draw these on my paper, on my grid paper. So I'm going to take my sticky note and I will do eight going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And I'm going to go down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And close that up. This is my sticky note. It's eight by eight. It's a little, it's pretty close <laughs> if I put it in there. And I'm going to count all of these squares. And I'm going to do it really fast because I can count by eights. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 48, 56, 64. Ooh, I did an extra, an extra row. Okay, so we have a total of 64 units. Okay, so there's 64 units in here. So, uh, and we can do the same thing. I could trace them on here of the crayon box and the book. But I know now that if I multiply 8 times 8, I get 64. And if I multiply 7 times 9, I get 63. And if I multiply 13 times 20, I get 260. And that's my area in square centimeters. This is one square centimeter. Each one of these is a square centimeter. That's why we call it square centimeters. Okay, so you've learned that if you uh, take the product of the length and the width, you will get the area squared. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and do the talk about it with your teachers.